I hate to break the fishing news up here, Chuck, but I'd like to speak about the ice hockey. Congratulations. You're one of the 13 listeners of the Real Life Podcast. We just traded a migraine in for like an orgasm. You might want to mark that down. Yeah. Yep. 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 All of my projects are on schedule until they're not. A member of the Nation Network of Podcasts. About as funny as we're going to get uh. today. Monday edition of the Real Life Podcast, brought to you by South Island Pico. Why not give their limited edition Donair Pie a try? And why not use the promo code NATION20 to get 20% off at South Island Pies, both in-store and online? I have a feeling it will not be so limited. It's, it's such a hit. It's a hit. If you eat that pie, because mm-hmm. we told you it was delicious, and you honestly don't like it, message us and let us know. Because <sighs> I would like to discuss with you how either your tongue is fraudulent. Yep. Mm-hmm. Or you have a brain imbalance where good tastes are interpreted as being gross. I bought. You think a, that's a thing? Sorry, I bought a Anything's box of the Reverso old tongue? faithful. For sure, there's a condition. For there's, sure, the old faithful is delicious. I got a box show up at my oh, house this week. I love the old faithful. Just a little box meat of cheese pie showed up at your house. Yeah, I bought it. I bought. T- I used the nation promo code. Oh, it's a Proider boy. Twenty percent off. Twenty percent off. Interesting. Nation twenty, but yeah, the old faithful had my first one on the weekend. Poof. Like legit. How many in the case? Uh, good question. Like ten or something. I don't know. I just opened box. Mange. Frozen? I, no, never. Not that big of a caveman. No, no, I can't. can't. Well, I bet you they're probably okay frozen. You probably would do fine, but yeah. this one, Old Faithful, the meat and cheese melted, pastry was nice, excellent. Great entry point. Because if 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 some of you are out there being like, well, I don't really understand what a meat pie is, so why would I, if I'm gonna have something donair related, why don't I just go get a donair? Mm-hmm. Okay. It's okay to think that. It's yeah, fair. We, we yep. so, so, we now, so now go, uh, let's give you the traditional Old Faithful meat pie just so you can see what a meat pie is all about. Mm-hmm. Yep. Then you can imagine what a Donair meat pie would be and then you would try the limited edition, not so limited Donair pie. And if you don't want the cheese, which I don't know why you wouldn't want the cheese, you can just get the plain Old, old Faithful, which is just the meat and the gravy. Mm-hmm. If you have a maybe lactose That'd be like a torture of some variety at yeah, that Yeah, it would point. be a torture of some, like, yes. I yep. had my first meat pie at an Australian Rules football game and wasn't sure. Mm-hmm. Wanted to have a little taste of home. They mm-hmm. didn't exist. Mm-hmm. Get a few beers. Ate one. Scalding hot. Delicious. Four and 20. Four and 20. And I said to myself, these could catch on one day at home, knowing that maybe I would never see one again. Uh, why the fact that now home? they're here, it's delicious. I'm excited. I might have another one today. I'm going to get some old faithfuls. You got to get some old faithfuls. Yeah. They're yeah. legit. They are. They are. It's got to be depressing to work at the commercial kitchens of McDonald's. Have you ever seen how they have like real chefs that work for McDonald's? Oh, yeah. I see them on TikTok. They wear fancy clothes and hats. And they're like, I'm a McDonald's chef, and here's a delicious yeah. truffle salad. Yeah. And they're like, they're like oh, nope. what's on the new menu, chef? A chicken Big Mac. Yeah. Like, I still you spent one. millions of dollars on Burger University. They have chopped oat and shit salads. They're trying all this shit, and that's what you went with? They <laughs> bacon on a Big Mac or a chicken Big Mac? Uh, have you really? tried the chicken Big Mac? No, is it good. It's like it's it's not bad. I'm gonna it's be honest bad. with you. Did you see when Connor Bedard's mom said he'd never had fast food? I have a take on that, but yes, I did. This too. for some reason I is in my head. I don't buy that at all. I don't buy it for you. One don't. F- no, not you're at telling all. me that eight year old Connor Bedard at an away hockey tournament didn't have fucking Subway. Well, oh, I took. Uh, there's some. Par- I I can believe it. I don't. Like- Subway is junk food. Well, it's fast food. Fast food. She said fast food. Subway. Subway's fast. The food. The one made of gym mats. Yes. Yes. That's not healthy. No. <laughs> Allegedly. Well, I also don't believe that. Once before- upon a time, where they fixed yeah. it. Since I read that Connor Bedard has not had fast food, I haven't had McDonald's. I'm gonna be honest with you. And I normally love McDonald's breakfast. I don't go to that during the day. I don't believe that Connor Bedard, before he was Connor Bedard, hadn't had fast food. I don't buy that. And if that is true, I want to hit his parents. Oh, I don't want to be Connor Bedard, but I was just like, that is dedication that I need to think about my I, own life. I bet you Nathan McKinnon doesn't eat fast food. But he had at some point. But he's yeah. an old man now who's had a full life of making yeah. millions of dollars. Connor Bedard's a child being like, I'm committed, bitch. I'm also jealous because the first time we can have it's a McDonald's so fry is so good. So good. I just feel like if you're a parent and your like nine year old is like, "Can I have fast food? Can we pick up a burger for my birthday?" I just mom? scored forty one goals. And, I'm Connor Bedard. Like, no, fuck you. You're gonna go home and eat a salad, you little. Or dick. like if he went out with some buddies or whatever. You're telling me they didn't go get some nugs. Yeah, like I get no Wanye Junior Timbits only two, three days a week. Okay, have I ruled him out of the draft? Probably. <laughs> that alone, that's where we're heading as a He's side. had more Timbits in the first two years of his life than Connor Bedard's had in 18. 
Mm. But I like to think that that's, that's still good it. parenting. I bet you on the road, he just, it just probably makes you want to crush it more on the road. Connor being called this, uh, what they call him, the seagull, because he was always eating the crane off and McDavid, yeah. yeah. That I can see. Yeah. Because you're like, I'm only going to have two fries. I'm going to have one sip of Coke. But like the next generation's like, I'm never going to eat fast food at all, bitch. I just, I was But impressed. also, I also know how junior hockey teams operate. Like, they're a lot of them, subway gift cards. Yeah, or like they get Boston pizza on the fucking bus after, you know? Like, like I don't know. Is he in the back, like Tom Pody lifestyle with like a tub of <laughs> uncooked chicken and rice? And he's like, nope, no thank you. Um, I don't know, man. Maybe. That's a good cut. Remember Tom Pody was allergic to everything, right? Everything. Everything. Turned out he was just ahead of the curve for nutrition. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he was just, yeah. Yep. I remember not liking Tom Pody because of his food allergies. <laughs> I was like, nope, fuck this guy. Can't play on my team. You loser. How dare you have dietary restrictions? No, you can't hang out with him because anything you eat, he can't be around. Yeah. Or that's the best person to hang out with. You ain't, you don't got to share anything. Yeah, that's and then, also a good point. Wasn't he on that one season of Oil Change too and kind of came across as a goob? No, no, he was, no, he was oh, Tom Gilbert. Then. I'm thinking of. He had all the yeah. shoes. Yeah, Tom that was Pody, Tom, Tom Gilbert. Gilbert. All the shoes. I met Tom Gilbert at a Lululemon when I was like, Eleven. No fooling. Yeah. And what happened then? You talked to him? Asked him for a picture. And? Got it. Nice. Ooh. On my old flip phone. Jeez. <laughs> You're eleven, you had a phone. Yeah. I guess that's the new thing. Yeah, it is. When I was going into grade six, my sister bought herself an iPhone. And my parents were like, if you get an iPhone, like you're paying for it by yourself. That technology, right? Uh-uh, my parents weren't about it. She did do it, so my parents had an extra line. So I got my sister's hot pink flip phone for grade six that I could use for emergencies or pictures with Tom Gilbert. Which Hell is yeah. also a different kind of emergency. Mm-hmm. I wanted to start the show off. Well, we've already started the show off, but we got a review. We're 30 minutes in. Yeah. <laughs> we so got a more review. Tom Gilbert chatter, please. And I get the reviews when they get sent in. They get I get an email nudge, right? And I get a preview of like the first whatever... 40 words of it. And then it kind of just trails off and goes dot, dot, dot. So I don't know what the rest of the review says. So we got a review on Nation Real Life that says, great show, but bagged milk's secret is out. And I'm kind of like, <laughs> so I'm like, that's funny. But then reading it takes a, it's it's a little bit of a like, whoa, actually, what's going on? So I'll read it to you before the dot, dot, Here dot. we go. All right. Absolutely love the show. Oilers for life and all of that. But I think it's worth noting some strange behavior by Bagged Milk. Mm -hmm. Recently, he has started advertising a specific kind of product, one that might be immoral and definitely is benefiting by being exposed to the nation family. Mm -hmm. You know, and then it goes, you know, and then dot, dot, dot. I trails do. Off. So I got to open a link. And I'm sitting here. I'm kind of like, oh, God. Yes, like, I know what it is. Does this person think we've like actually done something wrong or Bagged yes. Milk's messed up? Dot, dot, dot. You know what I'm talking about. He has exposed his alter ego, his true identity, his true self. Bag milk is none other than the piss wizard. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> we know your secret. It's time to come clean. So I was reading that. This is why you found it entertaining. Oh, yeah. Pee humor. <laughs> There's piss humor in it. But I started reading that and I was like, Oh God, like, is he like, did he post something? I thought I was going to go to his OnlyFans account. No. And then when I opened the link and saw, like I saw Piss Wizard before I even kept reading, I was like, fuck, that's a good one. You got me like hook, line, and sinker on that. So if you're leaving a reviews, uh, leaving reviews, first off, listener Hardy Stew Lover did give us five stars as well. Thank you. So if you're leaving a review, just know <laughs> that you can, you can mess with me and you can <laughs> and it cause works. me to panic. Did you know that the wizard has been banned from TikTok? Tyler? He's gone. R.I.P. R.I.P. You know what? We got one out for the homie. We got to do tit for tat and ban TikTok. Yep. You want the wizard off? You fucks. Yep. The wizard is gone. Is Where is on Instagram Instagram Mastodon? Anything? Might be a Mastodon. Oh. Facebook's got like a, a Reels account now. A Reels on. function. Yeah, I don't know what their uh, parlor. I don't. I, I <laughs> probably have truth? parlor. Yeah, probably on yeah, Truth Social. Truth? <laughs> yeah. They didn't like What's your piss his own policy. Piss, you know? yeah. We don't have one. Perfect. <laughs> uh, you know what's funny? Speaking of TikTok, all the clips from that hearing that's going on in the states of like the old Congress people asking the guy from TikTok different questions. It's endless humor. I it's think like it's when Zuckerberg. So it just, was on I there. was just gonna say it reminded me when Zuckerberg went on there because I remember one specific question. They're like, Mister mm, Zuckerberg, how do you make money on Facebook? And he goes. We have advertisements, Senator, and he goes, and that was his only answer. <laughs> Four words. 
And that's what it reminded me of. Old men asking tech guy questions. The one was like this senator is like, does tick and he's getting all mad. He's like a from the south, so he's got like a southern drawl to his Colonel like, Sanders. He's like, Does TikTok use and access the home Wi Fi network? And the guy's like, Yes, if you connect to it, that's how it works. Like you don't <laughs> have to, but you could. And the guy goes, Yes or no, does TikTok have access to our country's home Wi Fi networks? guy's like yeah, yeah i guess use your discretion yeah, yeah. Like, what's crazy in those is how they don't actually talk about the shady shit in the terms of service of tiktok because they don't know because they don't they just gloss over like is tiktok allowed to have access to everything on your computer mm-hmm. and everything on your phone as a condition of you signing up yes allegedly i don't it know it is over yeah they, they do but uh, so does google so does facebook everyone so does, does everybody yeah so anyways, i heard does that Zuckerberg connect to home wi-fi yeah <laughs> the one guy does TikTok have technology that can tell when your pupils dilate and that feeds the algorithm? And the guy's like, nope, not even in the slightest. But we should include it. That's yeah, actually that's a good idea, great. Senator. Thank the you. The parodies that came out yeah. afterward were great. Did you see any of those? Of oh, the what? People just parodying the senators. Oh, yeah. They're just like, uh, yes, yeah, sir. If I connect to airplane mode, am I now in control of the airplane? <laughs> <laughs> this, they must, this SNL must have had a field day with the this. The Chinese Communist Party's like, fall for it, fall <laughs> for it, fall for it. I've, I've seen everything I need to see here. TikTok for laugh. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's crazy that it's like going through congressional hearings and it's the sponsor of the Leafs. Yeah, and that too. Huawei was the sponsor of Hockey Day in Canada. Meanwhile, the CFO was in a Canadian jail. Yowza! It's called the duality of man. I'm going to give some love to our new sponsor. Huawei? <laughs> oh, Huawei. no. Wow. <laughs> Although I did see they have a cool new watch, and you pop it open, and, like, your earbuds are in there. Oh. And then you close to, like... How big is this And there's watch? just a table of Same soldiers sitting around watch. watching you? And the air- same size as this. Yeah, I get my AirPods in there. Yeah, it was like the same diameter, whatever, and then just I'll pops open. It. Your AirPods are, or the earpods are. Just tiny. Huawei always invested in their camera. Yeah, it was camera. like the well, highest that's level weird. camera. The like towel boy monitoring had, us right before all that went down. The towel boy had a new Huawei, and he was showing some of the photos he took. They were amazing quality yeah. photos. Well, they're all like being beamed back to the CCP. <laughs> they're assembling a 3D image of the country in real time. That's, you're, kind of, you're like the Facebook corner of the pod. What's that? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Anyways. If you think anything happens on technology that isn't getting mined 16 ways from Thursday, you are living in a dream world. Oh, yeah. But now you just accept it. It's been around for a long enough part of my life that I'm like, yeah, they know everything. You know who never would have done this to us? Blackberry. They never would have made us dance with the Chinese. They would have <laughs> kept us with Brick Breaker, an email client, and that was it. That's all we needed. Bricks and balls. BBM. BBM. Yep. Um, you know that game I was playing on the plane BM? I do, uh, yep. Bricks and balls. I bought an iPad mm. because I was like, oh, I'll get good use out of this, having a second screen around and all that. How long has it been since we came back from Toronto? Two 15 weeks? days, two yeah. weeks, around there. I have not taken it out of airplane mode because I don't like the ads that come with bricks and balls. My iPad is still on Eastern time. Can you control the airplane? Because <laughs> I, I basically paid $600 for a bricks and balls machine. I, I bought an iPad <laughs> so I could ha- play Clash of Clans on a bigger screen. Yeah, smart. My Sign iPad is basically sure. my soundboard for my podcast. That's all I use it for. There you go. Yeah, I get a chuckle. I open it up. It's like By the way, hours ahead. New song, new Tyler song debuts on Better Late Than Ever on Wednesday. What was this oh, about? How you, were you able to put it, one together it, it, so It's going to debut? It is going to debut this coming Wednesday. Could you share it on this podcast on Thursday? Yeah, absolutely, yes. Yeah. Yes. My friend Meat Watcher and uh, <laughs> Satan did a collaboration. <laughs> I am not excited for this at all. The last What's the title? I saw the title of it. Uh, the Cat so, Food Manifesto. Yes. Yeah, the last one was at least endearing in a sense. This one is just nothing but bad PR for me. My people are sweating behind the scenes. Yeah, this one is uh, not friendly. <laughs> so when do you eat the cat food? Hold on, what? Yeah. So in one of the first editions of Oilers Nation every day, someone in the comments we were talking about other teams di- or other divisions around the league, and someone was like, "You know, some models think the Bruins are going to win the division," and I was like, "No way, they're a wild card team." <laughs> And off the cuff, I was like, if the Bruins win that oh, division, no. I'll eat cat food. And it was just a little, or I didn't even say it on the stream. I said it in the chat first, and people were laughing, so then I said it on the screen. Um, well, and then yeah. what happened? If your mind goes to that, 
because of the Boston Bruins, mm-hmm. you deserve to eat cat food. I know. So now it's just a matter. And of it's it. like in fat. They, they must have put that. That is like cook it? bulletin board material. No, yeah. I want it right out of the can. can I want it? a fresh so friskies. Stuff? Cook it. Maybe make some cat food sushi. Put a little barbecue sauce on it, drown the flavor out. A little right. cat food sashimi for you. It'd be delicious. You never said you had to eat it raw without other ingredients, did you? Listen, uh, details haven't been ironed out yet. We'll get there. I might just, yeah. Now. I think you should eat wet He's food. He's meowing already. He yeah. hasn't even eaten the cat food. <laughs> yeah. Will so, you turn into a cat if you eat cat food? Will Jack Campbell have to walk you after you eat this? Yes. I'm not into that. I will dress like Jack Campbell, and I would walk you to your bowl of cat food. <laughs> I I've walked always by been two scared people of, walking their cats yesterday. It is completely normal and acceptable. I've always been scared of breast milk because I was scared if I got any on me, I'd turn into a baby. I suspect cat food's the same thing. Mm, I've heard that. Yeah. Okay. Who touches breast milk? Babies, Babies exclusively. Mm-hmm. So I don't want to get it on me. Mm-hmm. I will turn into one of them. Hasn't been a problem with you it's, raising a child? I did not touch the breast milk. Okay. And he was off it quick. Oh, on the formula. Quick. No. Went right to beer. <laughs> Off the milk, he said, no more. Big bears. I'm moving on. Straight to big Do you guys strawberry. have a baby Brezza? What's that? It's like the Keurig for... Uh, no. For Yes, it is a game changer. No, Wanya Jr. was off the teeth but, quick. No, 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 but like, I'm, I'm talking about for formula. <laughs> oh, no. So you just manually make it. went to milk. Right to milk. Oh, okay. Like whole okay. milk? Quick sticks on the milk, yeah. Uh, right okay. to the cow stuff? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, we have the baby brother. It is a game. Here's what changer. I'm thinking for your cat food thing. You just way. run it through your Keurig? <laughs> yeah. Well, it's it's not far off. I'm just going to fill it now with like hot chocolate Keurig. powder when we're. I've been thinking about you. Maybe like a sampling with no. some toast points. Like I'll buy four different kinds. Maybe we can get no. Nation Somali a dangerous way you to pair one bite wine with Yeah. Fire. One bite. Bu- but no, like, you got to eat the whole tin. Oh, no, you are there fucked. Is, no, you are so not. fucked. There you do no, not. You cannot you can't make just a, have one little bite. You can't bite. make a claim of, you don't I'm going to eat a whole tin of cat food. I, when you not. say, I will eat cat food, you can just have a nibble? Boston no. didn't yes. win the no cup. Way. A no. nibble of kibble. No way. No. So what I'm thinking no. of is some toast points. Those little Caesar things aren't that big. Yeah. Little so Caesar we'll just put like a little, a little... Taste of several things on toys, toast points for you. Nope. A nice little sampling. Oh, this isn't even a show either of you were involved in. So Dude, as far as I'm I concerned. I respect. I'm, I'm here to represent the, the industry. Game. The game of what? Life. The game of making bold statements like yeah. that and having to pay your debts. Yep. That's basically what you, the song is about. <laughs> <laughs> you think it's a nibble? I know it's a, okay. I made the deal. No, it's at my discretion. Well, we're taking No, you over. said I would eat cat food. Yeah, we're taking it over now. No, I'm absolutely not letting that I'm happen. going to make you a sampler. Like a nice charcuterie board, even. Mm, I won't eat it. Oh, you will eat it. It'll be delicious. No fucking it's a, I, 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 I. And you'll go, what? You I'm know what? very disappointed if you're trying to pull this off as a nibble. Well, you know what? Enjoy. Chicken feast isn't that bad. That's what I'm expecting to happen. Enjoy your disappointment, Jay. Imagine it's delicious. It's I've eaten a bunch of dog food. I'm holding out hope that it won't be too. Imagine bad. it's not. I've that eaten bad. a bunch you of dog secretly food. Secretly develop a fetish for cat food. There's probably someone that does. And your missus it. is like, "Are you eating cat food again?" You're like, "No." I, it's not going to be as bad as because last year on the B cast, I don't remember who it was. It was probably Dangerous Wade. Donated some money to the Edmonton Food Bank, and I ate a bunch of dog food. It's not as bad as you expected. Who is it? Who's addicted to cat food? Is it Elf or he's he wants to eat cats? Cats. He wants to eat. Cats. And then it's District Nine where the aliens want to eat cat food. What, well, there's a thing it? on TikTok now where. Okay. Gym bros are eating dog food because of its high. That is also content. true, and then they cry and barf. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't actually see the TikToks. I saw the headline. Yeah, gym bros are eating dog food because yeah. it's high protein content. Okay, maybe I feel a little bit worse about my life decisions. Should have said dog food. No. Would you rather uh, eat dog or cat food? Oh boy, that's a tough one. I got like, plenty of dog food. Like I had a cat growing up, so I know how the food smells. And good thing is, at least I know which ones I'll probably be able to stomach a little bit better. And they are the chicken-based ones. Like, if you think I'm eating a fucking fish pate, you are <laughs> fucked. No way. Well, yeah, man. You're eating the whole tin, so you get to pick the flavor. That's or not. we do a sampler pack, like a, a charcuterie like a flight. Pack. Yeah, a flight of cat foods. <laughs> On a delicious cracker. We can also go down to Dog Patch, and we'll pair it with a flight Don't of Don't bring Dog Patch mimosas. into this. Please. Mimosa flight. We do not need Dog Patch. <laughs> They're already fighting the reputation of being a dog food restaurant. Colin, yeah. People think it's a dog store. We buy dogs. Um, you'll like this kind of business I've been bringing down to the River Valley. Sold a microwave on buy and sell the other day. Go on. Told the guy, said, oh, meet me at Dog Patch down Decent. in Riverdale. 
and he came down. I gave him the microwave after a bit of confusion at one point. Um, and he was like, oh, this is great. He goes, I live by On the Rocks. I didn't even know this existed. My girlfriend and I are staying for lunch. There you go. Good job, you're in, Chuck. Keep selling more stuff. You're Can you sell 11 of those a day? Yeah. Uh, maybe if I had the, like, if I was stocked, I, if we got you 11 microwaves a day, Mm -hmm. could you make 11 tables turn at dog patch? Maybe. Yeah. Think about Jay. (laughs) So buy a microwave to then sell the microwave and then get get them into dog. Actually, I know we got to do a microwave donation drive. Yeah. Uh, well, if anyone else is interested, I'm still selling a stainless steel hood fan for a hundred dollars. You can meet me at dog patch. Have you ever seen a microwave ad on TV? Nope. Because it Someone's, got past, did we talk about this? Yes, because yeah. I'm into it. Because yeah, it got past the point of people needing needing to be advertised for, right? That, what? 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 There's, there's competition. As long as there there's is one brand of microwave, but you'll the competition is between like the major. Uh, Maybe there's something we don't need people. to know about microwave. Maybe it's like smoking, and it's so bad you're not allowed to advertise it. If I see one more feminine ad, yeah, there's a lot and of yet never a microwave. <laughs> I don't think that the industry is that competitive. That it needs to be seventy five percent of the bloody ads. Sometimes everyone makes a microwave. I think the the thing is though, everyone needs a microwave. But like when I the read, toenail fungus people, when they I got, get to go on TV, but the microwave people can't. It's a good point. When I got new kitchen appliances, the microwave was the last one. I think you could argue. Least How'd you in, make your decision? Least important of the Not month. TV ad based. Really, I would rank microwave above uh, stove. My personal opinion. Sure, but the stove is bigger, more of a fixture, right? Yeah. So, like, fridge number one got an LG. Then stove. Well, hang on. I got questions. You got mm-hmm. an ice maker on that, baby? 100%. Can you look? Is there a window you can see inside your fridge? Not that bougie. Ah. Um, oh, okay. You got that? No, I was at so Home Depot yesterday. My girlfriend was like, well, you need all the handles to match. So, we got an LG fridge, LG stove, LG microwave, so all the handles match. And I think the advertising would be Samsung just advertising their appliances, knowing microwaves are an afterthought, and people will just get the matching one sometimes. I find them on the side of the road sometimes. I was going to say, I whenever I need a microwave, I just drive around alleys till I find one with the door open. Mm-hmm. I just come to dog patch. They usually get rid of them because of stink, but they work. Uh, I, the, uh, I have, haven't lived with a microwave in a long time. What? You, have you don't have one house? in the house? Oh, Jesus Christ. You don't Why? have one in the house. Oh, it's Why? Not, oh, it's not my personal choice. Why don't you have a microwave? Because Eva's never, like, her parents didn't, didn't believe in them, so they've never had one. So. How do they live with you? Why don't you have a microwave? I got an air fryer. So you want to reheat something quick. What do you do? Put it in the oven or air fryer. The air fryer I get, but some there are certain things. I do miss the microwave. That get too crispy. Popcorn? I was never really a big at home popcorn guy. Okay, or you just I'd get the like popping machine and do like the yeah yeah well, you can do it with an air yeah. pop. So, wow, that's, that's that is a lot. I can't believe you don't have a microwave. That's yeah, cool. that's quite mm. the confession. Didn't it come with your house? No, that's also surprising. If it would have, do you have a hole for one? No, nineteen sixty six house. Ah. I could probably live longer without a washer and dryer than a microwave. Me too. I microwaved a burrito yesterday. It was delicious. Mm. You don't air fry the burrito. I was in a hurry. Mm, that makes sense. See, that's why. If I have to heat up Boodle Noodle, I put it in a pan. Oh, well, air fry. Got air fry. I'm worried about like the cleanup of that. Like, cleaning a pan to me seems easier than the air fryer. You gotta get those little. Uh, there's little rubber mats. You. Can I need a better hand. air fryer. I got like the most basic. Yeah, I made it's burgers so in the air fryer the other day, and I was like, I wonder where all the grease goes. It went outside the air fryer. I moved the air fryer, and it looked as though I'd melted a candle underneath. <laughs> oh. And then I heated up some water in the microwave and made myself some tea. And recovered from the incident. I'm trying to think of all the other things you need. Like, okay, you have the baby formula Keurig. Microwave to get your hot water? You don't have a hot water dispenser? No. What? You do? You do? I don't trust the fridge I that I have. I've got a kettle, yeah, and a hot water tap. I would never drink out of the Wanya Manor fridge. I don't get enough circulation. Oh, that's mm. fair. It uh, always tastes like plastic. I have a Brita. Oh. I used to buy a Yeah, Brita no. jug. You guys yeah. never seen... Me, I don't know. My dad always puts them in for me. He's a plumber, obviously. Yeah, know. of course. And just like the little side tap that just you push it like a normal tap, and it is like piping boiling hot water. Right now, I'm like, how, what about all the non food applications of a microwave? But none are springing. I know. Line. It's like <laughs> that's the thing. But like, but well, you could have a magic bag. What are those? Well, things yeah. Called? How do you eat up a magic bag? Oven. <laughs> and we use a hot water bottle. <laughs> how do you heat up hot water? Kettle. Kettle. Yeah, kettle. A lot of sous vide. A lot of sous vide. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> you're sous vide everything. I think that's what it feels like when your body gets out of the hood and like ascends to the no, better life. No, it's not. It's like a, it's a longer <laughs> oh. slot where you feel like you want to heat up last night's pasta or something. Like, yeah, yeah you either put it in the oven. Well, no, pasta yeah. in that instance you'd put. Would you get in, in trouble if you had a microwave? Would uh, it be like you've given up on our quest? Uh, like honestly, if if I wanted one, I could have one. But I'm just like subscribing to the your wall. man cave is just a f- it's just a microwave? bunch of microwaves, a wall yeah. of microwaves. Yeah, twing, 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 the twing. air fryer was a game changer. Made me like forget yeah, no that I needed a microwave. But I need a better. Is air there fryer. a downside to a microwave? I'm not aware of. Is there health concerns? Or Probably. Well, the, the, for I would the imagine soul, so. You can't advertise them. Maybe you're not missing the point. But no, I'm not kidding. Uh, but there's no like health worries or anything. Essentially. They've been around for so long that like. You got to think if they you were killing think, us. Yeah, they would be. They would have been, been on them. Yeah, dead. exactly. Like, yeah, I, I don't think there is. Remember when you got that DVD player that was just sitting beside the garbage and there was nothing wrong with it? Yeah, that was That wild. was unbelievable. That was wild. Jay comes to the crib. He's like, I've got a DVD player. I'm like, no It was like shit. brand new in a box. Like, I just found it, it by the, the garbage. Life. Unbelievable. My we, mom did. My mom's like, this looked perfectly fine. We so. ran that for years as the yeah. only DVD player. You know, sometimes when someone tells you they've kicked something, they're like, oh, like... I'm off booze or like, I don't eat this anymore. I've stopped using fast food. Yeah, uh, you're yeah. always kind of like, God damn, like that makes me feel lesser than you. Like it feels like you're big dogging me. Like me no. and Connor Bedard. I don't feel no, this will, at all. Uh, I feel yeah, pity yeah, you for shouldn't. you. I'll use them. <laughs> if I have a microwave available and there's a situation where I want to heat some up, I will use the microwave. Can you That's see a- your neighbors use their microwaves through the windows <laughs> and you're like <laughs> living vicariously through them? Yeah. You come into the office, you see the one we have But, here. like, to be fair, the cooking quality of the oven or the air fryer 100%. is better than the, the microwave. Convenience. Yeah. No, but better than the microwave. But I also grew up eating, like, microwave cheeseburgers and microwave fries. I used to love those. Yeah. We were living in a pre-air fryer world, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That is true. Yep. This is a shocking revelation. Mm-hmm. I think you should call this Jay doesn't have a microwave. Yeah, it's not like... Yeah, I'm not trying to like put on a cape and say that like. Did you lie in bed when you found out this was your new life and look at the roof and be we like, "We need was mm. to put this up." Or are we <laughs> like, "I'm cool with that from day one, bro." You know, I was like, "Why, why, why don't we have a microwave?" Well, we've never had one, and you know, we're just worried about the radioactive waves. Okay, that so there things. is a health worry. Well, because well, old school, like, remember OG Eastern Block my, microwave. Exactly, yeah. my father yeah. microwave. Yeah. Use one, yeah. Right, so like, don't trust the go- the government sold the microwave, so you don't trust them. We should get Waz to upload this just as a clip to YouTube with like a super clickbaity headline. Like, you won't believe <laughs> this kitchen confession. Jay's got lasers coming out of his eyes and There's shit. Waz right there. there. Right the He's always lurking. If you say his name twice, he pops into <laughs> like a fucking Beetlejuice. room. He yeah. is. He's like Beetlejuice. He's all seeing. How do you think all the content gets captured? Yeah. He's everywhere. But we need this upload. Everything. Clickbaity headline. Bag milk, do you do anything weird? Oh, I do tons of you things. You got any weird, weird lines in the sand you're drawing right now? Cast of milk. Do you do Nothing the egg in the middle toast air fries? Is that, is that something? Yeah, fuck yeah, I do. Mm-hmm. What's it called? What? Breakfast. Yeah. Do you do? I'm going to try that. I cook an egg on toast with bacon around it in my air fry. Do you cut out a hole for the egg? I, I press one with a mug. And oh. then I crack the egg in the middle of the bread, wrap the bacon around said bread. So it's like an egg Wellington. Nine minutes at 360. Good God. I had that this morning, actually. See, mine, see, this is how basic mine is. Mine is only Celsius, so then I have to go and do the math, which, mm. thankfully, there's the internet. But still, it's a step that I would like not to take. I, I air fry a lot of stuff. I've yet to air fry a South Island pie. I was going to do it yesterday, but then I got scared, so I went OG. I'll, I'll, you want to know how I make... I, so, I went on a salmon fishing tip, a trip. I have a bunch of amazing salmon. I, I've got an air fryer, like, recipe for salmon, and it's amazing. I can buy that. Salt, pe- it's very easy. Salt and pepper, and you put it meat side down and keep the skin, the skin t- on the top side, yeah. and it just keeps in all the juices. Like 20 minutes. Awesome. It's fucking awesome. Your house got light bulbs? <laughs> <laughs> I'm running Actually, a fax machine. The funny thing is, is not a lot of, not a lot of light bulbs. Because you live in a fancy house where it's all designed by <laughs> No, architects. it's not. It's old school. Like, they have, oh, God. Yeah, there's <laughs> lanterns. We have a lot of lamps. You got candles. That we you have, have like, lamps. no, like, we have no fixtures in the ceiling. Oh, isn't that annoying? On the main floor. It's really weird. My house, too. There's no lights in my living room. I'm in an older house, too, so I feel your struggle. Like lamps but, do you have, do you have, but do you have What do you have, light fixtures in the ceiling? In the, I do not. Not in the living room. Not in my living room, no. So it's a series of lamps. Yeah, yeah. series of lamps. But you want to talk about on. a light fixture in a ceiling? The one you matter one. Oh, yeah. Those 80s like crystals that are designed like some. Put that or buy or sell. I bet you get a good pretty penny. 
You're not wrong. When Wanya Manor was originally built, your M Chuck, it was for a TELUS executive who had to move out here from Toronto to work for TELUS. And his wife didn't want to live in Edmonton. So she kept making demands of this house before she would move out. So there's all this weird shit. It has got so much security. There's buttons on the doors for like panic rooms and shit. And all the bedrooms lock with a key. Because this lady didn't want to move to Edmonton because she was scared of Edmonton. This guy really loved his wife. Tellus loved his wife. Mm. And then this huge chandelier that must have been brought in in a Hercules aircraft. They just, and all the lights are dead on it. We can't figure out how to get up there because it's like a 12 light. foot. Yeah, you need a special you so need it doesn't a even, cherry picker. Yeah, doesn't even cast a light. Mm. Got a microwave though, but that's it. So I think you're actually living better. Wow, well, I don't know. Well, I don't know, man. If you got a chandelier with no lights working. I have, a, I, have a, I have a ceiling with no lights, period. But you can reach every bulb in your house if you need to replace yes, it, that's which true. is probably why you don't have crazy light that, fixtures. I have the option, yeah. yeah. When I go into a house now and I see a 12-foot ceiling, I think to myself, it's going to be hard to get up there. It's hard to get up. I got a dead bug on a window ledge. I'm like, I don't know how I'm going to get that motherfucker. He might be there forever. Get one of those extendo Swiffers. Oh, Sure. Okay. Or don't. Yeah, no, I will for sure, man. I'll Big just, Swiffer guy? Yeah, I love Swiffer. Oh, I have one, yeah. yeah. The extender one? No, because no. I don't have my ceilings very low. Old house. This isn't about me. It's about Jay not having a microwave. How very dare you put this on me? Um, and it all started with my buy or sell thing, which I what sold. What would you get for that microwave? 75 bucks. Not bad. Not bad. Um, so it's also got Jay in a disguise buying the microwave. <laughs> <laughs> my Don't secret tell. shed. Yeah, you have it plugged into <laughs> like a microwave shed. There. Yeah. yeah, you're just microwaving against someone's <laughs> but shed. Also Ooh. sold the fridge on buy or sell. And oh. this thing is fucking. I got a TV. You want to sell that? Sure. Why not? Okay, cool. Amber's very inches? good at it. Um, but it is 42. heavy as shit. This fridge is old and huge. Full of Freon? Yeah. So put it on buy or sell, 200 bucks. Just want someone to come grab it off the driveway and we said. We will put it on our driveway, but we will not help you load it onto your vehicle. I didn't want that liability. I didn't want to like scratch someone's thing or break the fridge and have them be like, that's on you, bro. So it was like, we'll put it on the driveway. You can come get it. So bring- Still charge 200 bucks. Yeah. And we said on the ad, you will not be able to, this is not a one person move. So someone messages Amber and says 200 bucks. I'll come grab it today. I have a pickup truck I have access to till seven. I will be there. And Amber says in the message, okay, bring help. You won't be able to move this alone. So in the afternoon, me, my dad, and a guy that works for my dad, three of us and a dolly to get this thing just from the kitchen down our two front steps. It's heavy. Oh. This guy finally rolls around. I'm just home chilling by myself. Amber's gone. He backs up with his white pickup like he's never backed up a vehicle in his life. And just, I'm watching my front window, and I have the uh, doorbell cam footage of it. He smokes the snowbank and, like, goes up onto it in my front yard. And then just keeps gassing and going. So you see me like run out of my front door and be like, no, whoa, whoa. <laughs> he finally goes up, backs up probably just him. And I was like, hey, man, like you got anyone coming to help you? And he's like, no, I got it. <laughs> Holy fuck. No, you do not. Because you're not supposed to lay fridges down. No, the okay. Freon leaks out. Yeah. So he backs it up. He takes the tailgate off this uh, truck and he backs up a little bit more. And he goes and grabs it, and he goes, oh, this is really heavy. It's like, yeah, man, I told you that. Like, it said in the posting. So I was like, do you need help? And he's like, yeah. So I go, I help him. Of course. We shimmy it up to the edge. And I was like, how do you want to get this up onto the truck? And he goes, just lean it and shove it on. I was like, okay. So he tilts it on its side, so it's just leaning on the truck, and this little tiny truck, like, sinks right down. And then we heaved it up and just slid it on, and it's laying sideways. And I was like, I got to ask, are you using this for parts? And he goes, no, I ship them to Africa and they fix them there. I don't understand. Have you done this before? He made it seem like he, he asked. Have you been paid? He gave, And then he reached, he was wearing like a husky jumpsuit and he reached in the front pocket, 200 bucks cash. I thought for sure he was going to be like, I only brought a hundred. It's on my truck. Fuck you. And I would have been like at that point, if he would have given me a hundred, I would have been like, all right, I'm not unloading it. So, And you helped him load it up. <laughs> yeah. And we loaded up. He gave me 200 bucks cash. And he said, I hope you have a great night. I said, you too, man. Not an expert in supply chain management, but I can geographically conceive of a shorter <laughs> distance way to fix this fridge than shipping it to Africa. He goes, that. you said there's problems with it. I was like, yeah, like there's a seal that's broken. The screen doesn't work. He's like, they'll figure it out in Africa. He goes, he goes oh, but the motherboard's intact. I was like, 
I think so. <laughs> and he goes, well, that'll be the only issue. They'll fix it in Africa. 1960s fridge. But there wouldn't be a motherboard on that. Oh, I guess a circuit board? No, no, no. Fridge that old. Uh, you're Amtrak, you're just selling anything to Africa, aren't dude, you? Dude, it was the wildest, like, 20, not even 20. I think the guy you're dealing with is in the midst of being scammed. <laughs> and yeah. send he me to all fill the fridge yeah, full of money. Send all your fridges to Africa is like the third thing they've got him to do in an eight point scam. I have a smart toaster. Yeah, it took up his whole truck. Oh yeah. Thinking I mean, about that's kind of weird. Smart toaster? Yeah. Internet of things? It, you can have like an app on my toaster if you want. It's unnecessary. I think it's it unnecessary. Christmas. Yeah. It is nice though. You can pick the toast, like the darkness. Sure. Toast you want. But you used to be able to do it with the little Yep, this one's more digital. Sure. Precise. How many apps on your phone in the future? Oh, too many. And then the app of apps. Yeah. So like I said, it's it's uh, unnecessary. Oh, so you can have a, there's, there's a toaster app you can have? You yeah. can run? Yeah. The app it. for the oven makes sense, though. That, like, yeah, you can time your roast if you'd like. Or uh, like you can pre, I can preheat my oven while I'm driving home. That'd be helpful, helpful for you, Jay, your house. <laughs> I was at a brunch yesterday, and my buddy's like, oh, I got a brisket going. I want to check it out. He's all, he's got a, his smoker's got an app. And You're like, I will, but as yeah. long as there's no microwave. Yeah. Like 10 feet he's away. showing me, the, like, we're watching live footage you of the brisket. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's cool. oh, there's a camera inside this thing. Yeah, they have a yeah my nephew has one of those, too. It's his birthday, by the way. Happy birthday, pal. Happy birthday. Happy yeah, birthday. he's got one of those Does fancy. Sm- oh, absolutely not. No, he's got better things to do. I would hope. How old is he? 10, 12, uh, 14? 28 today. Oh, boy. Yep. Yeah, of course, because you're 63. Mm-hmm. And he's successful enough at 28 years old to have a camera in his smoker. He's balling, actually. Fuck. He's fucking big balling. That's really? Sick. Yeah. That is sick. It is sick. I'm proud of him. Uh, okay, before we keep... Camera uh, in your smoker. It's when you've smoker's arrived. Good. If you ever... So, like... Wow, we we're talking about home appliances a lot here. But, like, <laughs> air fryer has changed the game of wings. Because, like, you can't the bake best. wings. They're so soggy. Yeah. Yep. Air fryer actually crisps them up. Legit. But... The second best thing would be a smoker. I would love to have a smoker. I don't have the room. Smoking wings is good. Mm-hmm. I don't have the patience. Like my buddy put his brisket on. Like he got up at six thirty. Yeah, no. Th- when I'm yeah, hungry, I, I will eat. Yeah. I'm not going to have any lead time. Mm-mm. Hence, why I cook most of my like food I can't be in a prepping, microwave. I can't be prepping meat for three days. No, 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 no. no. Yeah. Well, th- so I'm now attempt. I've done it before, but now I'm going back into it because I realize that we're like extremely wasteful with groceries. Like we get a, like we get a bunch of stuff thinking we're going to do these things. Oh no, we're going to start doing the, we don't do these things. So now we're trying like the, where you get like the pre-planned like meals you have, and then you have to make them. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Like so we got Hello or Fresh stuff, or yeah. Oh yeah. Something like that. So we got three delivered today. No brands unless they pay. I don't even, I don't even know the brand we're using. Exactly. That out, but I was like, That's you know that what? Out, That's given, given the stuff that we're like, not using and having to throw out. It's probably actually now I get why you pay the premium for this. So like I'm gonna try it. I'll let you know how it goes. Oh, you haven't started yet. Starts tonight. We uh, mm-hmm. should have gotten an ad deal with one of these companies. Seems like every podcast does. We'll figure it out. Yeah, there's yeah, we'll a local one I think. Yeah, I think you're right. I'll talk. I'll, I'll figure it out. We'll figure. It out. Now that I'm in the space and I can probably be an influencer, mm-hmm. just like you with bathroom burritos. Hey, guess the job done. My thing, if the job is to ruin your in-laws house <laughs> yes uh my thing with chicken wings and i know people will mock me for this oh, of course. i have totally soured on homemade wings no, no more have you hey, ever air fryer nope never oh man you've I'm never air fried them? You... i have and they splattered grease into the little cooking area and they started smoking and i said i'm done i'm gonna give you a wing recipe for your air fryer i'm gonna put the dry it, rub throw it in the sewer won't splash on That's you literally. They're going to be delicious. I saw a video on YouTube of a guy who lived in the uh, subway tunnels of New York, Mm -hmm. and he stole power. And you know what he had in his his hole? Microwave. Microwave. He had a microwave. He he would need it, though. He would need a microwave. He couldn't get a stove down there. When I was was traveling, when I was backpacking in Southeast Asia, I poured it around like a- A microwave? A kettle. One of those, like, top fill kettles for just, like, ramen noodles. I uh, ported that around for months. What? That is genius. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this makes me remember when Tim talked about how on his train they pull out their portable fondue yeah, set. Yeah, they have a fondue, and on, the fondue on the train. He'll be, he so said funny. he's going to Switzerland or whatever to watch a sporting event, and they'll fondue on the train. <laughs> Class. <laughs> what a, no wonder they were left out of World War II. <laughs> they are a different society. They are oh, a higher that, society. That is classy. I want the portable air fryer. A yeah. cheese fondue, no less. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I, I, I can just I can just picture it. 
I would like four to dudes on the train hauling around the portable fondue. Four dude fondue. Yeah. That's Last funny. time I was on the train, dude puked up scope down the aisle. There you go. You weren't in Switzerland at all. <laughs> no. That was a different no. fondue. Yeah. I got punched in the face by a homeless lady on the way to the Justin Bieber concert on the Edmonton LRT. <laughs> I was going to call. Uh, one of the gals I took with me is now a lawyer. Mm. That is quite shocking to me. Time <laughs> never stops your M check. That's a good point. Uh, what I was The point I was making with the wings is I feel like they're never as good at home. Probably because I'm a shit cook, but that's we need fine. I've accepted it. Yeah, then when you go to a restaurant. Deep, deep fried is still the best. Would you have a deep yeah. fry in your house? I would, yeah. But no microwave. I'd be worried I'd burn my house down. I would, yeah, uh, me too. Uh, yeah, I, 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 but I would have one. Remember the one on Simpsons that Krusty had? Like the home fryer and it was, no? Okay, mm. well, hey. I'll fry stuff in the pan sometimes and it gets splashy. Mm. Mm. All right, uh, we are going to, actually, before we step aside for an ad, we're going to talk about why Chris Chalmers is in here today. Uh, that is because he is enjoying the beautiful weather in Jasper. And he's oh, out skiing. And lucky SOB. He is on a nice ski trip. The weather's warming up. Shed a couple of oh, layers. Oh, it'd be amazing to go but skiing. But you grab the boots, you grab the skis, and you give her for a week. I'm dying to do one more ski trip this season. Grab well, our jersey. friends at Tourism Jasper would love to have you. Drinks on the patio, warmer temps, the slopes, though, still in great condition, and the escape guard still available with half-price lift tickets. Check them out on Twitter, Instagram, at Tourism Jasper. And go check it out. And if you're not a skier, guess what? It's March 27th. Run they, some anyway. Go for a jean ski. Yeah, why not? It um, is it, it, it is the season. Mm-hmm. And if you have a pool, but you don't have a microwave, <laughs> it's a decision. It's a decision. You could have a microwave. I don't feel bad for you. You could have I, one if you wanted. Yeah. Things are going great. It's... Uh, You've elected not to have one. It's... Yeah. It's... But like, I don't... There's very like I, I there was a while there I missed it a lot. I would think I was just thinking of all these. Oh, oh my god, I've had the mic, but now I'm like I don't even like. I'm just so used to like doing Doesn't it this understand. way, and the air fryer also eases a lot of the the microwave pain. I'll send you my breakfast thing. You can do this. Yeah, I gotta get a leveled up air fryer yep. too as well. I want to get the one that our boy Rick has. He's got two drawers on his. Yeah, I want yeah. two drawers. Yeah, me too. Because you can level. cook two things at once. Then yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Mine's so basic. So basic. That's funny. All right, we found need to, She's now oh, uh, oh. a Gucci person. What? The real she's person? endorsing Gucci? I believe she is. The real one or the actress? The actress. Ah. Oh, the actress. Yeah, oh, no. Ruth Langmore. Yeah, Ruth Langmore, yes. All right. Attempt four, R. R. me saying we'll step aside for an ad. Gucci. Okay, now we're back. <laughs> yeah, no Chris Chalmers. Like I said, he's out skiing. In yeah, he's skiing, living his best life. It is... It's spring break, obviously. It was noticeably different. It was like 10 minutes shorter to get here uh, this morning than it is normally when school is in. I couldn't believe it. It was a ghost town. And the other day, too, just like the sun comes up nice and early now, like popped out, took my dog for a walk. First thing in the morning, it's quiet. It's nice. I miss it. I love spring. Spring has sprung. Big shout out to Frank. He had a good positive weekend. Yeah. He did, yeah. Yeah, he got to get some tests on a growth on his foot. It's very gross. <laughs> But the results came back good, so that's all that mattered. I can handle the grossness. Yep. And Frank got some love, too. Someone else, I know, you, someone sent yeah, a gift another bag. Gift Do you bag. see that? I did not know. There's another one on the table out People there. People have been you. very nice. I got hundreds of messages. People about love it. Frank. He's very handy. My family was like, hey, what happened to Bag Milk's dog? And I was like, oh, he's actually okay now. Everything's okay. yep. Everything's good. But people were asking. Mm-hmm. Yep. People love Frank. Do you think okay. if Frank Sarah Valley had a scare of any sort that you'd get 100 messages about him? No. Me, personally, no. No, I wouldn't have a gift bag either. Every time Bag Milk says something about Frank, I go, Sarah Valley or the dog? (laughs) And we laugh and laugh and laugh and laugh. It's a good joke because you do the reverse to me. I'll be like, oh, man, like Frank needs me to do this, this, and this today. And you'll be like, no, he doesn't. It's a dog. Yeah, (laughs) That's Ah. the stuff. Frank's joining the show today. Oh, really? He's a dog. We should have Frank join the show. The dog or Frank Sarah Valley? (laughs) Get uh, a microwave. When he's a little bit... (laughs) You know, healed up a little bit because he still got the, an incision site on his on his hand. I'm going to bring him in. If you got a microwave for a gift, <laughs> would you deny the microwave and return it? Or yeah, would you like I'd put it, it on the show? You would? Oh, fuck. I would. Next year nation gift exchange. We are making and, and then for we'll a $25 we're gonna up, microwave. We're going to up the limit. Just to we're get up in the limit. You can get it. Waz will steal it. Yeah, Waz would steal it. 
And it wouldn't steal even a be present for him, a gift it'd be for somebody else who wasn't even here. It was steal a gift exchange present? Yeah. yeah. Was, yeah. And it, wasn't it was a wh- proxy for someone else, and he stole my gift yeah, the, from me. The, yeah. Not even knowing that the other person would want it. There's something it like off with our laws. Thing, was it There's not? something yeah. 99% right, 1% squirrely with him. It was So was essentially, long story short, stole a wine opener kind of kit, which fits within what Jay would like. Yeah. For Spencer, who's in his early 20s, Spencer doesn't want a wine set. No. You no, know, it's a shotgun of beer, damn it. Exactly. Coffee table book on microwaves? Did I give him his four? I stole him a, a four pack of beer. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I gotta get that to him. He's just too humble to ask for it. Mm. Yep. I gotta pay the debt, just like you gotta eat the whole can of cat food. Fuck that. Or a quarter of four cans, four flavors. That's Fuck that. that. That's worse. Variety. I think that's better. Yeah, because one of them Each might one be will a be a different egg. kind of gross. I'm not eating a pate. That is the one rule I will make in this whole thing. You don't like pate? I will make you, I'll prepare you some. I'll put it on a nice platter with a nice Mm. little toast point. It'll be delicious. Yeah. No glass of red wine. Mm. Nope. Even worse now. Nice warm tap water. For you, a jug of red wine? (laughs) Of that. (laughs) When you drink red wine, it's the last liquid on earth. Gets the job done, kind of, (laughs) depending on what the job is. Yeah, it stays Mm -hmm. in you for a good time, not a long time. Mm -hmm. Mm Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Speaking of uh, Chalmers on his getaway, we'll have some fun getaways coming up with our friends at AMA Travel as well. We've, we had a good year of AMA Travel Nation vacations. It, yeah. It's been, it's just been good to be able to do it again. Yeah. Like we've actually had a proper season. So I'm I'm excited for July when the schedule comes out and start planning next season because we're also. Come on, schedule makers. Give us a little luck this year. I know. Just a little luck. I know. We need like something. Jeez. What, like a what are Saturday the, in Nashville? Yeah, we need a Saturday in Nashville and a Saturday in Vegas. That's all we ask. And well, yeah, I'd also like to maybe do a Seattle. Seattle, that'd be great. Seattle would be nice. Yeah. I know we've been playing the idea with Southern California, but like everyone forgets how like massive and far mm-hmm. apart everything is. SoCal's huge. Yeah, you can't do that. A mullet Arena would be amazing. Could you do like if, if what, what went, if it was a Thursday at the Mullet Arena? Can we would pull love that off? To go, I would love to go there. Like even the Oilers are showing some pictures for practice today or the morning skate, I should say. It looks cool because of how small it is. You know, it'd be a fun way to do the Mullet Arena one is if it was like a Thursday or a Friday. Back to back Vegas? Sure, but I was also thinking, like, what if you branded it as like a nation vacation golf excursion? Oh, we could do like a one day tourney. We could do Oilers Nation Open on the road. Yeah, it could be like an Oilers Nation. Yeah, yeah. So, like, maybe it's a smaller trip because it, it's more of a niche thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, if you got like 30 people, everyone bring your clubs down. Yeah. That'd be fun. That's actually a good idea. Look yeah. at me chipping in. What do you think of uh, Jack Hamill getting the start today? Makes sense. Yeah, oh, it makes sense. I mean, get, yeah. yeah. Stu's kind of just hit a little bit of a speed bump, but we're not worried about it as we discussed. What do you say about uh, on every day about Saturday's game? I was annoyed mostly with Vander Kane. <sighs> yes. Okay, so here was my question. Vander Kane, friend of the show. Yes. We like him, does good stuff in the community. Yep. Are we worried about this little slump? Well, to me, I look at it as... He missed so much time. It's going to take him a little bit to get back up and running. But like that one was just. Bro. Can't happen. I also didn't shoot me if you must on that goal. And on the March or so goal, didn't love Nuge's effort. Yeah, I didn't either. The March or so goal. He was a step behind him and like pointed. He was like, someone take that guy. And then he was like, I'm not going to take my guy. And then March <laughs> so boom scores. And then the OT one, he could yeah, have taken a step annoying. in. So it was, listen, you lost by one to a division rival. You can pull some positives, but at the end of the day, we're at a point in the season where it's results, man. Need results. Well, you now, now trying to win the division is no longer a thing. You going like a now it's heater. you're cheering for LA to win the division. Yeah, you're cheering for LA to win the division, so you get Vegas in round one. Yeah. I also think like round LA, one in Vegas. Shit. In terms of if we have to go, shit. Damn. Oh, like what if we're going for playoff games and oh, we have to be go to heavy. Vegas? Could be heavy. I mean, <laughs> what are darn, you going to do there? Darn, no. we might have to go to Vegas or Los Angeles in a couple of weeks. That's inconvenient. I'd stay somewhere different. In LA? Where, in LA or in Vegas? In LA. Why, think, why is that? Because we were in the mix. We were in LA last. I like that spot. Yeah, but like the off day, we're like not in the mix. Yeah, you were. We were nowhere. I mean, so like, like we're like it's the opposite of the mix if the game's not going on. Yeah, that's true. But we were there for the games. We though. still went to the beach. Yeah, we did. And remember, what? I dropped that entire king can of alcohol in front of Miko Koskinen and Derek. Twice. Oh my Twice. god! Twice. <laughs> Just kept fumbling. And I'm like, oh my god! They probably recognize you too. I'm like, this he is had a super can. 
and we're walking back to the hotel. We went out the back way at the crypto arena or whatever it's called now. Yep. Tyler just drops a full Bud Light soda seltzer and it just explodes and he goes to scramble it. He picks it up and he uh, looks behind and there's Miko towering over us, judging. <laughs> he did it. Uh, uh, I look it? him in the eye and be like, you have a biblically bad glove hand. I Mitch. think we all owe Miko an apology. Well, you know what? Well, this year went. <laughs> he is in Switzerland filled with cash. It all worked out fine. It did work out for him. Do you think he ever just looks at the numbers and goes like, fuckers. I'm sure he is so happy Probably. not to be an Edmonton Oiler. He could give one shit. Yeah, actually, yeah. Uh, you know what? And he's in Switzerland. It's beautiful. Tax he's having fondue on the Come fucking on. train. Yeah, fondue everywhere. Fondue, fondue everywhere. everywhere. Yeah. Fondue on the ice. Speaking of Oilers hockey, I watched the interview with Eckholm this morning because mm. I missed it. Where was it? At, at post game. Oh, okay. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. And uh, it warmed my heart. The amount of gibberish thrown at this guy oh, in this interview. It was all gibberish. Because he is a very dignified Viking yes. king. And he's sitting there and people are asking him questions and like no normal questions Nothing. are coming in at all. It was so funny but to like, watch I, I, I bet you there was some real ones, but they chose all the weird ones. And he's just like, he, all about he, he's just good beard. spirits. Like you can tell he's happy, but he's just like, what the fuck? are you people talking about? Well, you just need- anti-aging cream? He's like, yeah, he's like huh? Have you-, have you seen me? Yeah. He has a presence about him, that guy. He's cool. He is cool. He's super man. cool. He is super cool. I'm a big fan. We have the best beard in the league. Oh. Mm. And the best mustache in the league. Oh. And I don't know what that means. Something. It's got to mean something. It's got to mean something. It's got to mean something. Also, uh, sh- I want to give a shout out to uh, Spiced Oil for giving everyone the Eck Home beard. Looks oh, good. That was great. Looks great. Look great. Got to mean something. What's mm-hmm. Ekholm going to do in the playoffs with that beard? It's just going to get longer? I'd like to see him adding the like the beads to it. Oh, yeah. yeah I'll go full Viking. Yeah. Get some of that Viking face paint. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so Be a terrified. guy like that who already has a very big beard, does he get a pass in terms of, like, can he trim it during the playoffs? Yeah. Yeah? We give him a pass? Yeah, because it, like, it's no a very else. established beard. Yeah. He and looks better with a longer beard. I saw photos of him older. Not quite as good. Older? Like old photos of him, sorry? Oh, oh I, I saw photos from the future of him. No, I saw old photos of him without a long beard, and he isn't nearly as cool. I'm going to go Matias Ekholm. It's like draft. Skinner without the stash I'm mm, not into yeah. it. Like, I'm Me happy either. he's an all-star, but I'm not as happy. Yep. Mustache, though? Long mustache? Love the mustache. I'm in. It looks good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm trying to get his draft photo up. Yeah, me too. That's what I'm trying to find. Matias Ekholm. I just imagine he had a full beard in the draft. He's unrecognizable. Yeah. And worse at hockey, I think. I think totally. the beard. Yeah. Even like when it's just a stubble, he's not the it's same not guy. It's not the same guy, right? Yeah, he doesn't look anything like that. Yeah. Weird. I think he rounded into four when he got the beard. Mm. Oh, we still oh, need to have one. a look at those abs, though. Avery, where are you at? I know oh, you man, I was grilling them on Monday night. <laughs> Monday night. He came and joined us, uh, the Germans. And I'm like, Avery, man, you got one job, bro. And he See was, at Holmes abs? Yeah, we need Smart. to know where he ranks on the all abs team. Yeah, he was. Uh, he, I have Oilers Plus Plus, mm. which is a shower cam. Mm. It's nine hundred dollars a day. <laughs> yes, <laughs> you're not allowed screenshots, mm. but I can confirm. Look at Eckholm. He is ripped as shit. That yeah. guy's oh, got a six pack for sure. Chisel. I just Show. we just we just need, need to, to see it. it. We need yeah, to see it. Need Oilers to, Plus Plus. Like he's 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 gonna be just jacked. 100%. Have you heard any highlights from Oilers Plus that you think, man, I got to get it? We have I an Oilers it. Plus account. We do? Yeah. Company one, yeah. Yep. Oh, we do? Can I watch it? Sure. How do you log in? Smart I'll, I'll give that to you. Yeah. yeah. How do you... How do you it's, g- it's okay. Like, the content is okay. How do you My get favorite it? thing is you have to go through the web, just through the website. Ah. My favorite thing is when they have players mic'd up. That's the most entertaining thing that I've seen there. Because oil change, I couldn't watch. It it's, was. I was living oil change every day, and I didn't want to hear another fucking second about the rebuild. Yeah, to me. But the, I feel like good Mike times are good. here, and Oilers Plus might be okay to watch. Yeah, well, I'll give you that. Is there yeah. any Connor content? Little. <laughs> Nothing good, eh? Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's it's what you thought it would be. They should show Condor's games on Oilers Plus. They should. I think they're eventually going to move towards Oilers games being there. Well, I would hope. Like kind of what MSG did, right? Except remember that streaming wars have gone very badly for virtually every streaming company. And they're starting to like retract streaming as being the next big thing. Yeah. So it may not be a big migration. When you see Bally collapse. I want to see. Yeah, but they just, they would just be doing Oilers games though. 
Yeah, I'm just saying it might be more lucrative to let Rogers blow their brains out yeah. of the Sportsnet contract and try to do yeah, it. They, they, yeah, to make what Rogers is paying it's you might be tough. It's a loss leader yeah, for yeah, Rogers yeah. to allow them to rip us off on our cell phones, right? Yeah, but yep. You could get your own ad rev, right? So you could sell your own ad spots on there, but it's a whole operation, you're right. To make that kind of money is just crazy. I'm it expecting all these games scale. are going to go on YouTube eventually anyway. That's Probably the future. Or Prime. That's the future for growing the game. Or right? Prime, or right? Because they're just like, we're going to get the NFL rights so that people get shit delivered to their house faster. Like It's yep. bizarre the metric for them yep. with NFL. Yeah. Having said that, though, Oilers Plus, like, there is an opportunity to, I think, build a Marvel Universe sized galaxy of content if you were doing a good job. Maybe the brick will do it to sell more microwaves. Brick Plus. You would Ooh, love it if the plus. microwave industry exploded, wouldn't they, you? They got all around you. that Burger King location. Imagine one morning you came out of your house and everyone was dead but you because microwaves <laughs> have been bad for us. What would you do? You'd be the only man left on I Earth. I know. I'd be disappointed. I wish I had a microwave. You're like, shit. Everybody I know is dead because microwaves were lethal. This is no life to live. And then your in-laws would be like, aha. And you'd be like, we're the only people left in Edmonton. Let's go drive Ferraris. Yeah, that's, that could be fun. Is that what you would do if you were the last one here? Is that from... I am legend. I am legend. Is yeah. that what he did? Yeah. Oh, really? Never saw it. If I was the last person left on Earth. Speaking of which, I'd anniversary go to the o- of the slap today. Slap? Really? Has it been a year? Yeah. It does not feel like a Jeez. year. It feels like six today. months. Remember how we thought that they did that to distract us from selling, but we can't remember what they were trying to distract mm-hmm. us from? We had like a 10 minute conversation <laughs> yeah, we about really how the lizard people ordered <laughs> Will Smith to slap Chris Rock to distract us from. We were in the weeds. And we can't remember what it was. Yep. It worked. But there was an incident that had occurred like Probably. the day before the slap. And then pow, bitch. And it was off the front it's page. It's been a very newsy last couple of years. I can't remember. There's a lot going on. Yeah. I'm just counting down to that Nike duck or Nike movie. That's what I want to say. Will Smith. God bless his heart. I loved Will Smith, man. That's a tough one to come back from. <laughs> Yeah. What creeped me out most about that, though, was how Hollywood is such a weird group think that he like won an award and everybody clapped for him and they went to the party after and he's dancing. And it like wasn't until the next morning when the entire earth was like, no, you did not just slap Chris Rock that it looked like there was going to be any repercussions. Yeah. And in retrospect, slapping a professional comedian who then had a year to stew on it. Wowee. Chris Rock is winning. Yeah, that special ruled also. It was pretty, uh, well, anti-Will Smith. <laughs> really? Why? I don't know. Uh, before we wrap this up, got to let you know. Got to let you know. Have you ever seen our cool Oilers Nation stickers? And you're like, damn, I want one of those. But where do I get them? Can't just find them on the street. Nope. But you can find them inside of an Oodle Noodle location. When you go in to pick up your Tokyo Glaze with double beef, as I like to do. Or maybe you're like Liam and you like... Uh, Butter chicken mac and cheese. Butter chicken mac and cheese. Mm -hmm. You go in there, you say your order, and then you lean over to the cashier, and you kind of beckon him closer. And you say, I want one of those fucking stickers. And they'll give it to you. have a microwave. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Tell someone who works at Oodle. You can heat it up in an air fryer, folks. The president of the company doesn't have a microwave. I'll tell you. Well, fun fact. uh, This is going to sound like I'm name dropping, but I'm going to name drop. Uh, Went over uh, for an early dinner on Saturday at the Strudwick's. Fuck me. Long story. They haven't met Crawford yet. So ah. uh, we had planned this. And all the kids demanded we get Oodle Noodle for dinner. You're dominating every demographic. We had Oodle Noodle and red wine. And port. Ooh, nice. Struddy's a big port guy. Mm. Oh, yeah. He I love talks port. Yeah, it's so good. I'm a big Jason Strudwick fan. I listen every day. Yeah. So. And I always text him. And, and the hey, kids Strudy. got their stickers. Text him. I go, Struddy, can you come on my live show? And he always says, I am way too busy. I'm like, that makes sense. You're a busy man. Well, he's, he he's like coaching te- like crazy. Yeah, he he does his D camps. Eight till noon. And he's then he on goes on a podcast. Does- he's on the radio. He was on this podcast. He was on this podcast. He's founding father. He used to write articles once upon a time. Yep. I wish he would again. I love those. He's busy. Too busy. Yeah, he is busy. Writing's a bitch. Can be tough, yeah. Because you can get your ideas out on audio and you never even have to go back once. Right? But writing, you got to go over and over and over again. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, that's all I have to say. Do you guys have anything else? Let's go, Oilers. Yeah, big week, big week of late games. I puck line. It's not even juicy can't. enough. It's, it's not, not juicy, juicy and the Yotes are scrappy. Honestly, I'm they're good pro- at home. Do you know what I'm the probably Yotes doing? Might win your M check. You uh, never know. Betway is again audacious enough to because they opened it up for two games and then took it away. The Ekholm goal. It's now back. Good come. I can feel that. 
Yeah, our friends at Betway, they, they're giving the Oilers a lot of respect these days. They're I went over favorites. on Saturday. Hurts. Well, the, like, do you see the disrespect against the Golden Knights was disgusting. Yeah, I didn't like that. I would like to see the Oilers be home dogs for that game. But they well, see I'm, not even saying, I'm, I'm not even necessarily home dogs, but at least like... What were we like? We're, it was like yeah. minus 150 yeah. or something like that. It was it? gross. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Gross guess. It was gross. Well, we'll see if the Oilers can rattle off a couple of victories, and there is an outside chance that they clinch on Thursday. What so. was your uh, three keys to victory today? My key to victory was win the effort battle because you are more skilled than this Coyotes team, but they've been outworking everyone. You need to find a way to outwork them tonight. All four quiet lines. down. What's his name? Clayton Keller, too. He's on fire. Yeah, yeah. Quiet down, Clayton Keller. But my main thing was just like, you are better than this team. You're more skilled than them. If you outwork them, you will win. Simple How annoying that. was it getting not goalied by Laurent Bossois, but like a little bit goalied by... He made... Like that game... Revenge the game. Oilers, the Oilers could have gotten up by two or three early in that hockey game. I had a bet on a Matthias Janmark grudge goal. Ooh. And anytime he had the puck near the net, he may as well soil himself. <laughs> That's why I don't like him up on that top line, honestly. <laughs> uh, way she goes. Way she goes. Uh, enjoy the games this week, everybody. And, bring back uh, the wizard. Bring back the wizard. Bring back the wizard. We'll be back on Wednesday.